Hey folks, in this interview, it's a behind the scenes look at a new photography company called IQ. This is Twit. Hey folks, welcome back to This Week in Photo. Something interesting and historic for you guys today. I'm sitting here with my good friend, Mr. Zeev Galat, and we're going to be talking about, he's, he's a mover and shaker in the photo industry, and he's moving and shaking again, this time with the IQ and their acquisition of Athentech, makers of Perfectly Clear. So Ziv Galat is here to chat with me and explain all about what this acquisition means, what it means for the photo industry, what it means for that company, and more. Ziv, welcome to the show, man. How's it going? Thanks for having me. Totally awesome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, that was good. It's always good to chat with you. It's always good to chat with you and catch up. You and I have known each other forever, right? I mean... Yeah. Like literally, for it's almost like we grew up together. It feels like, yeah, totally. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. No, well, absolutely. well, let's start there because I think you and I met when you were you were you're a co-founder of iFi, the company that made those the the little SD cards um, that that had a micro Wi-Fi chip on them, right? Mm -hmm. That gave cameras DSLRs the ability to transmit their images into the cloud, Flickr, etc. Let's talk about that world and how you transitioned from that to where you are now. Sure, yeah, I've always had a passion for um, helping photographers to just focus on getting out there and shooting and not um, not doing too much with the camera, not doing too much with uh, the post work. So at iFi, we wanted to get your images out of the camera quickly, going to your phone or your tablet or your computer or the cloud. With Authentech, what we've been doing is getting images out of people's cameras as well, uh, the computers, as we upload them, but we always do the post work on their behalf so that they can actually focus on going out there and going out to shoot some more and having fun. So the biggest printers out there use our technology. People just don't know that. Um, we also have a, a deal that we're going to announce with a phone company that uses our stuff. So the whole idea is we fix images in the background uh, people don't know that, and they can either use us on their mobile or PC, or they can see that we're doing stuff for them uh, by using companies that print photo books for them, for example. Now, when you when you say some of the biggest companies or the biggest printers are using your stuff, you're talking you're talking photo labs, right? So these are these are labs that are that are doing post processing for for whom? Like, is it wedding photographers, event photographers? Who are they doing the work for? Uh, Absolutely, uh, those as well. In addition to the biggest printers in the world, for example, Shutterfly. Um, ah. Yeah, Hallmark, Blurb. Uh, in Europe, it's Seve. Um, we have pretty much every major printer in every, in every major country covered, um, and we keep doing more of those. So we go after the mass market consumer printers as well as companies that do stuff with imaging. So for example, any company that will do um, uh, sharing of home photos, sharing of hotels, uh, dating sites. Anybody that does anything with images can use our tech to fix the images so they look better. Now, now that that you bring up a good point because you know I've done interviews, I've done many, many interviews, right? And one of one of the the recent interviews I did was a company that that they they apply artificial intelligence to the stuff they're doing. Explain what Perfectly Clear does, because that's Athentech is the company that IQ acquired, and one of the products that Athentech creates is called Perfectly Clear. So, tell me first of all, start with what Perfectly Clear does, you know, and and how that relates in this this sort of buzzword world of artificial intelligence. Yeah, uh, Perfectly Clear has been the brand that Athentech has used for the past, uh, I want to say, twelve plus years. Um, and that's why we chose to acquire it so that we can keep leveraging the customer base and uh, the imaging that, that uh, have been used under this brand. Um, here, here's what it does. It can do things like face contouring, uh, removing dark circles under the eyes mm -hmm. uh, completely automatically. You don't have to do anything except for loading the image in and the software does everything for you. So wrinkle removal, um, color correction, Everything that needs to happen so that the photo looks better, we can do. So 
You can apply makeup. You can apply blush, mascara, eyeliner, um, everything that does um, better with the skin. So again, you know, wrinkles, shine, things like that can happen completely behind the scenes. So the customer can just load all of their images in, and this just happens. Um, does that answer your question? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So that so. So that's interesting. So then with, I guess where I'm getting at with the, with the overall line of questioning, my interrogation of Ziv Galat is when you, with the, with this acquisition, so IQ purchased Athen Tech, which is, you know, like we said, created perfectly clear. What does that mean? So now we have this, this entity called IQ. What is IQ going to do? Like what is, what is IQ's main, main function in the world of software and photography? Sure, sure. So we will focus a lot more on not only uh, image intelligence. So we call our stuff intelligence, but it's human intelligence because the stuff that we do does not require just AI. Some of that is AI. Some of it is just we're intelligent and we know what how how to apply um, corrections to images uh, in a very intelligent way. So we say that our engineers and our physicists and mathematicians are all intelligent, uh, and we. And, you know, and we use their intelligence in, in the... Organic uh, intelligence, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we use a mix. So for exa- so with, with IQ, we'll do more with AI. For example, we have a lot of customers they go out and shoot schools, events. Uh, they, have, they have to do with graduations and, um, you know, school events that are both at the high school level as well as college. And they come back and they have a lot of photos and some of them are not consistent. They should be consistent with the background and the foreground, but they're not. So we can fix that. Uh, we're going to introduce a new service for companies like that nice, that nice. will correct both the foreground and the background while maintaining the image um, consistently across. So things like that use a mix of intelligence and AI. Love it. Okay. Love it. That's cool. So then what's the, what does the future look like? You know, obviously, you know, I know that I know the, 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 the saying of you can't talk about future or unreleased products and services, etc. But give me a glimpse into what the, the future of what you guys are going to be doing looks like. What, what is it? You know, we're in 20, as we record this, it's, you know, the Q2 2019. What does Q2, say 2021, 22 look like for you guys? If you, yeah. if everything goes well. Yeah. Everything goes well. We're not only correcting images in post, meaning after they were captured and before they're being printed or being shared, we're actually inside the device that captures it. So I think that you'll see an announcement from us fairly soon from one of these major phone manufacturers that uh, we've helped to make the images better inside the smartphone. Um, I would love to do a lot more of that because if the images that are captured in the phone are so amazing, uh, it lets you just share them out of the phone instantly and, um, you know, do even less post work. Yeah. So I want to be both on the capture end as well as on the editing end. And you'll see more of that. Uh, more companies that are doing um, uh, imaging for businesses. So the pain points that they have with a mass amount of images will be aided by our technology. Love it. Love it. That's cool. So you guys are doing, you're doing big things. So yeah. any, any thoughts about maybe going back to hardware? You started your career for the most part in hardware, Atoms, and now you've transitioned into electrons and software. Yeah. Do you think you'll come full circle and maybe end up in hardware again at any point? Okay. So let me flip it around and ask you for your advice. All right. Um, we have software that's being used by labs. And so these are labs that cater to both advanced amateurs and pros and consumers. And it's very, very fast. And we were considering um, adding hardware so that you can have, you know, like the keypad where the operator can be very, very quick with the fingers and go through all the photos quickly and, and make these, these corrections uh, quickly. Mm-hmm. So we're considering doing, adding a keyboard like that with our software. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I have to see it. I'd have to see it in operation. My yeah. knee jerk reaction is we're talking thousands and thousands and millions of images and introducing yeah. humans in there, you know, might, you know, not the most scalable of solutions. So I'd want to see something that's, that is 
smarter than a human and doesn't get tired, you know? Yeah. You know, so I don't want I don't want an image that got processed in the morning to be better than an image that got processed close to closing time. You know, <laughs> so. uh, you know, uh, it happens. Many many of these labs still do a mix of both manual corrections as well as um, automatic. So for the ones that are doing still manual corrections, we are trying to find ways to make them even more efficient. Yeah, uh, yeah. but yeah, totally hear you. Yeah, makes sense. Love it, love it. Cool, man. Well, thank you so much. This is Friday night. You took time out on a Friday night on a on a week where you guys announced an acquisition to have a conversation with me. So I appreciate it. So, and congratulations. Congratulations on all the moves that you guys are doing. I've known I've known the company and, and Brad over there for many, many years. And you guys are, you know, the you know, I, I say one of the good guys of the photo industry. Right. You're you guys are fighting the good fight and doing things correctly and for the consumer in the end versus the opposite. So congratulations and, and, and many successes in the future. Yeah, no, I mean, it's really fun in this industry, in fact, with Ayla Devan to come to help us and be the chairman of the board. So we're adding more and more cool people to, to, to the team. Uh, and I think you'll see more of that as well. So yeah, it's fun in the street, really cool people. We need more help. So yeah, absolutely. All right. All right. Cool, man. Well, we'll keep an eye on that company on IQ. So the company, if people want to go check out the company, it's I, the E-Y-E-Q dot photos, P-H-O-T-O-S, I-Q dot photos. And that's that's where it's all happening and going down. And they can even, you know, link over to Perfectly Clear and all that stuff from that site, both the consumer uh, facing version and the, the, the business or B2B facing, you know, versions of that stuff. So... Cool, man. All right, Zeev Galat. Thanks a lot, man. We'll see you next time. You too. Thanks a lot. All right. Take care. This is Twitter.